Welcome to TD Garden in the heart of downtown Boston. This is WTBU Sports' presentation of the first round of the 69th annual Bean Pot Tournament. Tonight, for the 48th time in tournament history, it's the Boston University Terriers ranked 20th in the country going up against the Harvard Crimson. Crimson take the puck through the neutral zone on the near sideline, a turnover there by Gaffney. Sets up for Cockrell, Cockrell's got a look, he's gonna take it to the goal, a backhand and a score! Logan Cockrell gets the Terriers on the board with 6.08 to go in the first. Terriers, who had the shots on goal advantage all period long, strike first. And Logan's tried to do that a couple of times so far in this game. A couple times he had to backhand it wide, just couldn't get enough on it. He had the space, he had the opening. He's one of the fastest players on the team. He just rockets in and doesn't mess up there and gets it past Gibson. Just excellent speed, great control. And just a nice backhand off the post. That, that, might, that might have bounced off an uh, inch or two to, the, to either direction. Uh, may have been another story, but uh, is able to bank it in. And just huge for the captain to get it started here for the Terriers. Tucked to O'Brien. Turns over on offense. Couple chances here for the Crimson. Center pass and a goal. Yep, that's a goal. Looked like it went in off the top of the, off the crossbar. And then out of the goal, but it's a goal. Yeah, just snuck in under the crossbar. And speaking of which, the Terrier captain answers. The Harvard captain responds. Casey Dornbach, his fifth goal of the season. That didn't take very long. It took 37 seconds to tie the game back up. But O'Brien causes the turnover, and Dornbach just gets plenty of loft on it. That's an unblockable shot for you if you're Vinny Duplessis. Skoog. Near side by the circle to O'Brien. O'Brien to Fensori at the point. Now back to O'Brien. O'Brien in the circle. Fires and scores! That didn't take long. Jay O'Brien makes it 2-1 Terriers. And he whiffed on the first feed, but he was not going to make a mistake this time. Just had plenty of space. The Crimson, I don't know if they know that he's one of their best point-per-game players. Uh, he hasn't played the whole season. He's missed some time. But... Jay O'Brien, one of the best offensive players on this team, and he just had tons of real estate to work with. No mistake firing that shot to the back of the net from the right circle. You have to bring up penalties and controversy with this team, all because of two years ago against Northeastern. Fensori to Brown. Brown in the circle. Fires and scores! Matt Brown, 10 seconds into the power play. Terriers are two for two with a man up tonight, and they lead it three to one. You just got to feel so awesome for Matt Brown. Uh, he pointed to the sky after, uh, after that goal, as uh, they mentioned on the broadcast against Maine. His mother, unfortunately, passed away uh, about a week or so ago. I don't remember exactly when, but uh, it was very recent. The fact that he's with the team at all right now, despite you know, going through that, is just tremendous on his own. That's his first goal since it happened. Uh, the whole team went down uh, to New Jersey, where he's from, for the funeral. So just a special moment for Brown, obviously wishing him the best. Back to the blue line, Fensori. Lobs it in there, looking for O'Brien. Puck had a little too much on it off the boards. Puck was loose for a second, goes to Gallagher at the blue line. He sets it up and scores! <laughs> Terriers lead it four to one. It looked like Gallagher got that one all on his own. I we'll double check it to make sure, but I think I it was Phillips that tipped it. He was celebrating like it was his, but he was right in front of the net with his stick. Either way, just absolute great feed by Gallagher. Yeah, I mean, this combo of Fensori and Gallagher, they've done it now three of the four goals. Assists from them leading directly to goals. We see it here on the replay. Indeed, Gallagher rips it, and Phillips does tip it past Gibson. The Terriers lead it 4-1. to one. See them at the point. A fired wrister comes in from Henry Thrun. Doesn't make it. Rebound kicks out again to Dornbach. Terriers try to clear it. Mastro Simone can't. See him again. Into the circle right on Duplessis' doorstep and a goal! Matthew Coronado. The power play goal. The Crimson are back within two. It's 4-2 Terriers with a minute 44 to go here in the second. Yeah, can't expect to watch too many Harvard games and... Uh not see Matthew Coronado really impact the game and he was just at the right place at the right time. Terriers had trouble clearing it. Good cycling of the puck, it gets in front and Coronado was just there, went off Duplessis' pad. And just good positioning, no one behind him, was able to get his stick on it. 
Terriers have just under two minutes to see if they can answer and get back up to a three-goal lead. On defense, the Crimson trying to clear it from the Terriers. Their top line is out there, Tuck O'Brien Phillips. Been a very productive line tonight. Rister comes in, blocked the rebound, loose in front of Duplessis, goal, and another for the Crimson! Jack Donato, backhand off the rebound off Duplessis' pad. The Crimson score two goals inside of 30 seconds, and all of a sudden, a three-goal Terrier lead has nearly vanished at the end of this period. That's, uh, you mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, getting the sticks in there, helping Duplessis out for those rebound and second chances, and... Uh, Terriers let, let a couple slip by them. And that's the game, the Terriers win! They survive up by one goal in the entire third period. And for the 55th time in program history, they will head to the Beanpot Championship.